All right, so what one word defines a city? Well, traditionally, a nickname is derived from a community's founding trade or their core business. Channel 3's Kevin Hogan is digging deep into Middletown's past to discover how it became the Forest City. Hartford's Insurance City, New Haven's the Elm City, Waterbury's the Brass City. What's Middletown's nickname? The center of all connecting towns. No. What is Middletown's nickname? Middle City. No. Tree City. Close. Forest City. And I think that the reason for that is because of the tall shade trees that were very noticeable along Main Street and High Street um, back towards the founding of the city. Author Elizabeth Warner, who wrote a book out on Middletown's history, also acknowledges the trees that line the city streets are the source of the nickname. She says the city had many tree-lined streets, adding that Main Street was known for what she refers to as its fine elm and oak trees. There are a number of businesses that use the Forest City nickname in their names, like Forest City Farms. Well, we've been farming about five, six years now. Gabe Russo leases 80 acres from the city, growing a variety of veggies for the local market. On the right side, we have Swiss chard. That's great. And the left side, we have some kale starts. We're a certified organic farm. Uh, and we try to get local food right down in Middletown and keep it as close as possible. The Forest City actually is home to a legitimate forest, according to Eric Hammerling, executive director of the nearby Connecticut Forest and Park Association. It's known as the High Lawn Forest of Middletown, and it offers 200 acres of hiking trails. A lot of people go walking their dogs, going for walks and runs, um, and remains a wonderful place for people to go outdoors to explore all the different things that we have up in Connecticut that are so beautiful. For 20 towns in 20 days in Middletown, Kevin Hogan, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.